Hi, today we're going to go over this problem. Use cylindrical coordinates to evaluate the triple integral of x to the second dv over the region E. What is the region E? Where E is the solid that lies within the cylinder, x squared plus y squared equals 1. So this is x squared plus y squared equals 1 because we are in 3D and z is not mentioned it's going to go as a cylinder up and down. That's the green cylinder. This is the positive x-axis, the positive y-axis, and the positive z-axis. Above the plane z equals 0, that's this region, the xy plane, and the cone z square equals 4x square plus 4y square. That's uh, kind of in red but the main thing that we care about is this right here it says where e is the solid that lies within the cylinder within the cylinder below the cone so you could see below the cone that's the dark green region that's my e let's get started oh by the way one comment Whenever you have trivial integration with a function inside, that's not volume. In application, this will have units and will, will mean something for us. We're just doing trivial integration. It's not volume. Volume will have a one right here. Okay, here's the graph one more time. And we're trying to find uh, the trivial integration of this region here under the cone within the cylinder of x to the second, the function x to the second. And I do have the link right here for this graph if you want to see it and zoom in, zoom out, uh, x axis, y axis, z axis, and you could click on this to take it off to see it without the cylinder or click on this to take it off to see it without the cone. I will provide the link, this link, in the description below. Now, the cone z square plus 4x square plus 4y square could be simplified by taking the 4 out. We have x square plus y square, which is r square. In a simple way to say it, we are uh, having z equals 2r. So, let's keep that in mind. The cylinder x square plus y square equals 1. We call it cylinder because we are in 3D. If it's not 3D, it's going to be a circle. That's what we have. Our triple integration of x to the second, dv, we need to replace x with r cosine theta. And of course, we need to replace dv with what we know in cylindrical coordinates. So we have r dz dr d theta. Now, those are clear notes that will help a lot by setting the triple integration of x to the second dv. Let's get started. As you could see, I do have three different colors. Red for dz, black for dr, green for d theta. We need to stay focused. Instead of x squared, that's my x right here, r cosine theta. That would be r square cosine square theta. Instead of dv, I have r dz dr d theta. r dz dr d theta. Simplifying inside, that will give you r cube cosine square theta. And to integrate, I like to stay focused with red. dz first. We'll take care of that. Then we'll go black, which is dr then green d theta but the limits the bounds right here are very important do you remember the graph in 3d the floor was the xy plane which is z equals zero the top part is the cone the cone is 2r because we simplified it right there for the r since we're going around and up to one 
because of the x square plus y square equals 1, r will go up to 1. And since we're going all the way around, theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. That should be the main part. Sometimes we give uh, questions to students to set the triple integration. And we tell them not to integrate because that's the main part. After that, it's just regular integrations with some skills of handling a cosine square and r. You know, it depends on your variable. So let's move on. Multiply r by r to the second. That's r cube right there. I have dz, dz dr d theta. Now we're going to focus on the red one. To integrate it inside, there is no z. And we are integrating with respect to z. So that's like a constant to me. Imagine if this is like a number 5. The integration of 5 dz will give you 5z. The integration of 5 with respect to x will give you 5x. So that is the same multiplied by z. Now for z, we're going to plug in 0, which is not going to uh, show anything. It's going to be 0. We're going to plug in 2r for z. Subtract 0 multiplied. And the answer will be 2r times this much. And that's going to be 2r to the fourth. Done with the first integration. We're going to now integrate with respect to r, which is in black, and we're going to plug in from 0 to 1. With respect to r, that counts like a constant. 2 is a constant. r to the 4th becomes r to the 5th over 5. That's what I have, 2 fifth. The 5 showed up because we increase the exponent by 1 and we divide by the new exponent. When you plug in 1, that's going to be 1. Plug in 0 this whole thing will cancel. So that simplifies quickly to cosine square theta. The 2 fifths, I took it outside of the integration. Finally, we are going to uh, integrate with respect to theta. But since cosine square, I don't have a sign next to me to use substitution. We're going to use the formula that we all know and we need cosine square theta equals 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. So if you have cosine square, second degree, to bring it down to first degree, we use the half angle, the double angle identity. I call it double angle, I call it half angle, because this is half of this, and this is double twice of this. So we're going to replace cosine square by this much. 2 will cancel. And now I have it without the 2. When you integrate cosine 2 theta, I'll use u substitution. A u substitution will be u equals 2 theta. So you need outside. du will give you 2 uh, d theta. So I need a 2 here to use a u substitution, which means another half will show up front. And this is what I mean. So if you take your time and write u equals 2 theta for the integration of cosine 2 theta, the u d theta would be 2. So du equals 2 d theta or d theta equals du over 2. And that's the over 2 here. The integration of 1 with respect to theta will give you theta. All what I need to do is plug in 0 and 2 pi. Of course, 2 pi first. But sine 2 pi is 0, and sine 0 is 0. So that's a 2 pi. Half times 0 is 0, minus. Plug in 0 here, and plug in 0 here. That's going to be 0, plus half times sine 0 is 0. Everything simplifies to 2 pi inside, and multiply it by 1 fifth, and that's 2 pi over 5. That should do it. It's uh, less than 10 minutes. As you could see, I like my notes clear to the point. Summarize it. Try as much as I can to keep it in one slide so you could see the flow. This is very important to set up the triple integration. And then you stay focused with z first, then r, then theta. And sometimes you end up 
using some identities for trick identities. That should do it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.